3D scanning thin-walled parts can be a real challenge. And what we're going to do in this video is walk you through some tricks in using a Creaform 3D scanners to scan thin-walled parts. Now, whether you're scanning this for reverse engineering, inspection, creating fixtures, or packaging, it really doesn't matter. What you need to be able to do is 3D scan completely around the part and end up with having all the scan data in one file that is accurate. We have seen demos where people will take and scan one side of the part, uh, save it, flip it over, scan the other side of the part, and then align those two data sets. And you can almost be certain that that data will not be as accurate as the method we are going to show. And that's because there is not a lot of overlapping scan data to get a good alignment and merge, thus leading to less accuracy. So let's take a look at our setup. Now, you'll notice we've put targets on the part. And then you're also going to notice there's targets here on the table. And then just this uh, post to uh, kind of lean it up against. And we're actually going to start by hand-holding the part and then putting it down on the table. But this is our setup we are going to use for this part. All right, so we're going to get started here, and we're going to hold the part in our hand. For this demo, we're going to use the Creaform Go Scan. Now, the Go Scan can work with targets and work without targets. We are going to use targets in this case, and we're going to start by scanning the front of the part. So we're picking up the 3D shape as well as all the targets on the front of the part, working our way down here, getting the edge, uh, get the corners, try to get all the data on the front of the part. And that's the beauty of this system. If you target the part, you can literally hold it in your hand as you're working. But we're never going to be able to get around to the back of the part without losing it because it can't see the targets on the back side. So once we're done scanning the front, we're going to merely set the part down on the table like you see here, and you notice those targets on the table. Now we're going to pick up the scanner and we're going to go back to the targets on the front of the part and then we're going to roll down so that we can see the targets on the table. That allows us to transition over to the back side and then roll up and then pick up the targets on the back side as well as all the geometry. So this is a great trick to be able to continuously scan a thin walled part all in one setup which is the most accurate way to do it because it's all in one continuous scan and we're basically using targets on the part and the table to scan this part. So extremely fast, extremely easy to clean up the, the table data and the post are very simple in the software. And that's it. It took a minute, 22 seconds to scan this part. So here is the final 3D scan data. It only took a minute to clean up the uh, table area we scanned and the post, and this is it. The, there is no manipulation to this, no smoothing, no editing. This is right from the 3D scanner. So you can see how nice the data is for only taking a minute, 22 seconds to 3D scan it. 